You know this thing that's been going on for the past three months or so? Doesn't it have you thinking like maybe there's something weird going on? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a, just a, a little bit of a diatribe rant about uh, this thing. I like to call it this thing because I don't want to use any other words for what has been happening in the last 90 days. I think it's kind of uh, weird that uh, all this uh, stuff has been happening and, and it's happening at such a breakneck pace that not many people have the brain power to sit down number one and analyze it and number two to figure out the source of all this this mayhem that's been taking place and fear and 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 all this other stuff there's been a lot of people taking advantage of this crisis Ooh, i said it shit um this thing um uh, everything from uh, big lockdowns and regulations and rules and, and there's been a lot of hypocritical uh, information out there, like things that don't make sense, that contradict each other. Especially um, recently they had some people uh, speaking out in large groups, whatever you want to call that. I think you know what that is. And they uh, violate those uh, rules that people are saying everybody has to abide by to keep humanity safe, but they don't really say anything about you know, I don't know, 100,000 people standing in close proximity to each other. It, it just, it, the hypocrisy is astounding and it's, it's uh, bizarre. And what's even more bizarre as, I mean, I don't know if, if statistics and charts and, and reports are even true. They call it something and everybody believes it, which is a little bit odd uh, since nobody can prove it. Um, they're just believing what people utter out of their mouths. And, and that, uh, that kind of is kind of strange. And also when, you know, 90 days ago, there was something about, oh, it, it's, uh, um, I don't, I don't want to use the, the wrong words here, but uh, you can uh, get it uh, by uh, just looking at it <laughs> practically. That's basically what it was. Uh, that's why they had sp spacing requirements. I'm not going to use that phrase either, but now, uh, I guess last week they, uh, some official organization, not going to say their name, I'm not sure who it is, but they're saying now that uh, there's something about, like if you don't have any visible signs, you know, in the beginning it was like if you don't look like you're ill, then you can still make other people ill, which is weird. Now, 90 days later, they're saying, well, that's not the case. So I'm, I'm really trying hard to not use the words everybody's used to hearing because that's social, that's social programming right there. Um, and everything's inconsistent. And, but the one thing that has been sort of consistent is how various organizations, like let's say it's territorial organizations, uh, I don't want to use that word either, but they're, they're slowly bringing things back to normal with all these phases and rules and it's like you have to fill out an application, check boxes, and it, it, it seems very bizarre. I, I don't know. I mean, it's just a whole lot of fear-mongering. And in the end, I really think um, the people that are taking advantage of this thing, are, uh, they get off on, on the control that uh, it has over most people. Not this person. I mean, I, I, I just try to avoid conflict, and I'm, I, I'm sort of kind of dancing along the parameters of this whole thing because of other personal issues that uh, I'm not going to mention here because not everybody is as uh, aware of, of the nonsense that's, that's happening here. So I, I have to, to maintain a good household. I have to sort of just go along with certain things. But putting a, a covering on my nose and mouth is not something I will ever do. I still haven't done it. And that's that. So that's it. This thing is just bizarre. And I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping that, like, just like the Wizard of Oz, that there's some sort of uh, curtain that some, somebody or some people are behind and so this thing can just go away. They could blow the veil, as it's called. But that, this is just uh, something that, that will go down in history if, if, <laughs> if that ever is ever accurate again in the future future uh, students and so on. But that's it. If you like this conceptual video of uh, trying to dance around stupid words I hate,
that everybody says. Please hit the like and subscribe, and I will be back in a couple days with another video. Thank <laughs> you.